I want to talk about Black Panther 2, Wakanda Forever. Rest in peace to Chadwick Boseman. My Black Panther 2 analysis. I have a three hour breakdown of the first Black Panther on YouTube. If you haven't seen it, go find it. I didn't like Black Panther 1 because the messages were horrible. CIA agents were friends of the Wakandans. CIA agents were responsible for the assassination of nearly every major black leader we had in the 20th century. They made the Wakandans look selfish, like they didn't care about American Africans. They made Killmonger the symbolic representation of the African-American alpha male who was conscious. They made him into a killer and a disrespecter of African culture. I thought the themes in Wakanda were horrible. There was no romance, no intimacy, no love, no black woman with a child. In the whole movie, Black Panther 1 was a political nightmare. Now let's go to Black Panther 2. No disrespect to the Mexican community. No disrespect. To the Mexican community. No disrespect to the Mexican community. You have a right to your own heroes and Mexican children have a right to see their heroes in their own image. I totally support the right of Mexican children to see heroes in their own image. So respect to the Mexican community. With that being said, I did not take my children to see Black Panther 2 so they can watch Mexican superheroes whip the shit out of black superheroes. I'm going to say it again. And I don't care who don't like it. As far as I'm concerned, it was a total disgrace to watch a movie where everything black children held sacred about the Wakandans was shown to be possessed by the underwater Mexicans. Vibranium was supposed to be native to Wakanda, but Ryan Coogler and whoever else wrote that horrible screenplay gave the underwater Mexicans vibranium too and made them as strong as the Wakandans. Why would you build up Black Panther as strongly as you did in the first movie only to turn around and tear the damn thing down? The Mexicans were clearly stronger than the Africans in that movie. The Mexicans were whipping our ass the whole movie. The Mexican leader, and I forget his name, he got more screen time in the movie than the Black Panther did. If this movie is about Black Panther, emphasis on black, why are our children in the movie theater watching an underwater Mexican hero get more screen time than the black hero in the movie? You don't understand my analysis because you are a multiculturalist. You don't understand my analysis because you are a multiculturalist. Only someone in love with black people would understand my analysis. Only someone in love with black people would understand my analysis. It was a disgrace. And then I understand Prince T'Challa passed on. I understand Prince T'Challa passed on. I understand Prince T'Challa, but Ryan Coogler, can you explain to me, bro? Black Panther is the only major. We got Black Adam with the rock. We got Luke Cage, but Black Panther is the only major hero that has been put on a television screen for our children. Black masculine alpha male, Chadwick Boseman, Prince T'Challa. Black African alpha male, Chadwick Boseman, Prince T'Challa. Black African alpha male, Chadwick Boseman, Prince T'Challa. Why did you not allow the Black Panther legacy to continue 
through a heterosexual black man. Why did you have to reinvent the panther in his little sister? The war on black masculinity continues. The war on black masculinity continues. The, the war on black masculinity, I understand in the comic book. The little sister Zuri becomes Panther for a while. I understand that, but you could have delayed that. You could have ignored that. You could have exempted that. Our sons need to see examples of strong black men. So I don't want to hear nothing about what the comic books say, because that's nothing but an excuse. You can rewrite comics just like they rewrite everything else. We should have had a strong black man pick up where Chadwick Boseman left off. We should have had a strong black man pick up where Chadwick Boseman left off. Instead, you give us a little black girl. That's the best you can do. And not only that, not only that. Did you notice all the major characters in on the Wakandan side were women? Only M'Baku of the Jabari tribe, and he was not a major character. The whole Wakandan movement was women. Respect to the black queens. I didn't have a problem with them, but where are the kings to go with the queens? If you got a movie about African people, where are the strong African men? Was Black Panther 2 a scheme to continue to emasculate black men and masculinize black women so the mexicans they have an alpha male he was kicking everybody's ass the mech the underwater mexicans had an alpha male so it was okay for the underwater mexicans to have an alpha male but the africans had to have a little black girl chat uh uh uh, uh ryan coogler you was cool with that bro ryan coogler you was cool with that one alpha male on the Mexican side kicked our whole ass. One alpha male on the Mexican side kicked our whole ass. And you, it's bad enough you didn't let the panther live through a brother. It's bad enough you didn't let the panther live through a brother. But on top of that, you ain't have no brothers in the movie. The movie was 90% black women. So if a black man takes his son to the movies. A black man takes his son to the movies. First, he got to watch the Mexican whip everybody's ass. And can you explain to me why you had to let the Mexican kill Angela Bassett? I was disturbed by that, Ryan Coogler. I know it's a movie, but symbolism matters. Movie symbolism matters. Why did you let the Mexican kill the African queen mother, brother? Why couldn't she have died of natural causes? Isn't it interesting? T'Challa's uncle is killed in the first Panther. T'Challa's father is killed in the first Panther. T'Challa is killed in the second Panther. T'Challa's mother is killed in the second Panther. Why are all the black men in Black Panther being wiped out? Why are all the black men being wiped out of Black Panther? Help me understand this. Captain America ain't wiped out. Iron Man ain't wiped out. Incredible Hawk ain't wiped out. Spider-Man ain't wiped out. But when it comes to us, they got to kill every black male in the series. Come on, y'all. I respect Ryan Coogler. He's a great producer. But the themes in that movie are horrible. And I would bet my life that the FBI and the CIA is controlling the Black Panther script. You are not going to tell me that these two movies with these ridiculous scripts were not handwritten by the FBI and the CIA. No way on earth. And then when the movie go off, the underwater Mexicans is plotting to take over Wakanda. The Mexican leader tells the woman she trusts us. We have her right where we want her. So when we go back to the movies for Black Panther 3, when we go back to the movies 
for Black Panther 3. When we go back to the movies for Black Panther 3, we got to see the underwater Mexicans whip the shit out of Wakanda again. You know what I think? I'm going to be honest with y'all. And I want to know if you agree with me or not. You don't have to agree. My job is to teach you how to think, not to make you agree with me. My job is to teach you how to think, not to make you agree with me. My job is to teach you how to think, not to make you agree with me. I believe Disney and everybody else involved used Black Panther as a front to push a Mexican superhero at the expense of black people. I'm going to say it one more time. I believe that they are using Black Panther to push and introduce a Mexican superhero for Mexican children. And the fact you letting Mexicans beat up on black people in this movie sends a very disturbing message. Are you trying to tell us? Are you trying to condition black people to know, accept and understand that the U.S. government is letting illegal Mexican immigrants in America to replace us? We already know that. We already know that under George W. Bush, the son, they started bringing Mexicans in to replace black people in the labor market. They're using Latinos, non-African identifying Latinos to replace black people. We understand that. Why does it have to be put in the movie, though? We know we're being replaced by Mexicans. But why did you have to make it the subject of the Black Panther movie, my brother? Ryan Coogler? The screenplay is excellent. The cinematography was excellent. Both movies. The script was garbage. And if you come out with a Black Panther 3, that is as trifling as the scripts in these two. I'm going to have to give you lashes, my brother. I love Brian Coogler. He got a black wife. He is not a snow bunny. But my brother, if you keep on putting out these movies with these themes that are antithetical to the black community and are not in alignment with the best interests and higher elevation of black boys and girls, brother, I'm going to have to issue you some, 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 uh, you're going to have to get some lashes, bro. Cause th that, that, no, I did not go to the movie to watch Mexicans beat up on black people. Basically the message was y'all thought y'all was great. You Africans, y'all thought y'all was so great. Well, guess what? The Mexicans got a great civilization too. The Mexicans got vibranium too. And the Mexicans got better vibranium. They got better weapons. They're better fighters. And they can kick y'all ass. We took black kids to the movies to see our people get outdone by another group. Nah, family. It's not fiction, brother. It's not fiction. Everything is political. The late great Fred Hampton taught us that. You don't think the, the you don't think the messages in Black Panther ain't political? Are you that dumb? Are you that politically illiterate that you think a movie that costs hundreds of millions of dollars to produce don't have no political messages in it? A a a, a comic book movie that will be watched by every black child on the planet Earth. And you don't think they didn't control the narrative? What is wrong with some of you black men? I'm going to be honest. I don't know how some of you black women be giving. I don't see how some of y'all sleep with some of these brothers. We just so airheaded. So, so superficial. Mm -hmm.